Hey friends, today we are checking in to Disney's Art of Animation Resort and I am so excited because we're going to be staying in the Cars Family Suites. This is a special room with like a full kitchen, an extra bedroom uh, here at the Cozy Cone Motel and I figured I'd make a little video and show you guys around the resort and give you a little room tour. On top of that, this is a pet friendly resort so Gracie, my dog, gets to come with me. So we're going to eat some food, explore the resort and have a beautiful art of animation kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. There are four Walt Disney World resorts that are pet friendly. You have the Art of Animation, Disney's Yacht Club, Port Orleans, and the cabins at Fort Wilderness. So anytime I can do a little staycation with Gracie girl, I'm excited. Are you excited to stay in the cars room? Gracie has stayed at a lot of Disney resorts, but this is my first time uh, staying here at the Art of Animation with her. And the Art of Animation has several different themed like uh, resort areas. They have the Cars, Finding Nemo, Little Mermaid, The Lion King, and they're all so nice, but only a certain of them are pet friendly. And you have to pay a fee. Mine was like $53. And the room cost uh, probably an average of $500 a night. So I would say like $550 to stay here. And I think it's worth it. It's a family suite. It's huge in there. And it's really nicely themed at the Cozy Cone Motel. I can't believe Gracie and I are staying here. She's so, look at, she's Rolling around in the grass, she loves it here already. What? Look at her. I love it. Even that picture right there. Radiator cup. Radiator. Radiator. Woo! <laughs> We're going to come out and explore the resort later on. And in fact, this is connected to the Disney Skyliner. So we can take the Skyliner over to Hollywood, Epcot, the boardwalk, who knows. But I'm excited to have a little staycation, especially with Gracie, and just hang out and take a lot of photos. Because I like taking photos of Gracie like on Disney property. And then I'll probably frame them eventually. <laughs> I want to take you guys and show you the room, but look at how cozy this is. I keep on saying cozy because it's the Cozy Cone Motel. This is the quiet pool here, and all of these cones are like little cabanas, and you don't have to rent them. I think it's first come, first serve. And then if you got some of your favorite, like, Cars characters just hanging out here, Grace, this way. I want to take Gracie to go see Lightning McQueen. Ka-chow! <laughs> Ka-chow! Woo-hoo! Woohoo, Gracie! <laughs> Look at that. It's so cool how you have Lightning McQueen just hanging out here. And we're going into the wheel well. It's like a gas station. The Cozy Cone Motel. Come on, Gracie, let's go to the room. Even the hallways are nice and themed. That's one thing I like about Art of Animation. It's not outdoor rooms. It's actually like a little like indoor motel. Come on, you first. Thank you. Look at it in here. And it smells just like an old motel wood on Route 66. Everything is just bright orange. Even the carpets here. Oh, look, you got a hit a Mickey. Gracie, hit a Mickey. I'm going to go in and get all settled in and get Gracie nestled in. And then I'm going to show you the room. But look at all the cones. There's the lights. And I can hear other dogs. Gracie, got friends here. <laughs> Here it is, the Cars Family Suite. Oh, and there's Gracie! I love this room. It's got so much space. It's got like three beds, two bathrooms, and a full kitchen. Oh, look at Gracie's hopping all over the place. Look at how big this room is. Yes, you're making yourself all comfortable, huh? We've got a little uh, mattress over there for Gracie. She's got the Serta. And uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a little room tour, show you all the cool cars details, and uh, kind of just hang out. Look at it in here, you got a bathroom over here. I love how it says car wash, and then spiffy in a jiffy, and then they have uh, another like toilet. Oh wow, the door's a little rusty. Huh, it's a little rusty. Oh, look at the shower curtain. Well, that's kind of cool. I like that. And then you have like a little table here that folds down, like you pull down a bed in there. And uh, I love how all of the nightstands and like TV stands are kind of like toolboxes. I noticed that when I walked in and I brought my backpack with me this time and it kind of blends in with the color there. And uh, they have a full living room. Got a nice little uh, coffee table. The couch right here is super comfortable. Look at this. Gracie loves it too. Oh, there she is. 
This is really, really nice. I love this. And I can see how many fam like I can see why like a lot of families like to stay here because it's a lot bigger than, you know, the regular rooms at Pop or All Stars or Art of Animation. You actually have like living space here. If only they had a balcony. If they had a balcony, I would love to stay here all the time. I mean, I love all the car facts. Like, look at right here, the map of Route 66 going through Radiator Springs there. And I think I'm gonna pull down that bed. We gotta see what's behind that Murphy bed there. When you do check into any of the pet-friendly resorts, they give you like a little goodie bag and I wanna show you that too. Grace is just, I'm just happy hanging out here, right? Just look at her, she's so chill. Just hanging out in the car suites. Here is your little kitchen area. I got a microwave, you got a coffee maker, a little fridge, a sink, and this is the bag you get for your dogs. I've showed this before at the cabins, but it's really nice. It's got a dog bowl, Pluto on the front there, and a little ID tag. And then they give you a map of all the areas you can actually take Gracie and walk around. The only thing she, I don't think she, I can take her into the pool area. Pools are for people. Then they have a trash can here. Oh yeah, we wanted to pull down this. I gotta move my coffee first. It's like literally 100 degrees outside and I'm drinking coffee. Oh, actually, I think I should move the chairs too. Oh, at least they're very light. Gracie's sitting over there like, Dad, what are you doing? You're moving the chairs everywhere, but I think she's gonna be excited when I pull this down. Oh, to a bed! Gracie, look, it's Tomater! Sleepy Tomater there. Watch, here we go. Oh, Gracie! Oh, there she comes! What a girl! Yeah! And, like, that's not even all. We didn't even go in the bedroom. There's still a whole bathroom in there. I mean, the bedroom's just a bedroom, but I still want to show you. Here is the bedroom, and I love how they have the cozy cones, like, everywhere. You see it on the lamp out there, and it's on the nightstands here. You get a queen-size bed, some artwork of the movie there. You can see people driving around on a golf cart. I got Gracie's bed. I brought it with her because she likes to sleep in it. She sleeps on a Serta. Oh, and even the shades have the cones on it. I like that. And then you've got the TV the nightstand, I mean the entertainment center, extra pillows up there. It looks all fancy and then a whole nother bathroom. And it's almost the same one, spiffy and a jiffy. It's got that beautiful light and the car wash up on top and this one has a walk-in shower. An actually pretty nice one too. Now that I've given you the room tour, I think uh, maybe we'll go out, explore around the resort. I want to check out the pool. One thing I definitely want to do is hang out at the Cozy Cone Motel pool. It's like a choir pool right outside of our building, and it's just cozy. It's cozy! <laughs> I want to take you guys around the resort and show you the other themed areas. Like I mentioned, they have other sections themed after other like Disney movies. You have like the uh, Finding Nemo, the Little Mermaid, and also so, uh, the uh, Lion King and they're all kind of the same way just themed after the movie look at this one over here you got Tomator here and I love how like like I said each of the buildings are like separately themed we're over in the wheel well this is Tomator's towing and salvage I'd love to stay in this part of the building I don't think there are uh, pet friendly rooms here though the Finding Nemo section is the closest to like the lobby and then they have the main pool there. It's the big blue pool. This is just the Cozy Cone Motel Pool. It's like a quiet pool and it's also straight to the Skyliner. This one's tucked to the right and the Little Mermaid I think is the farthest one. It's actually over on the other side and the Little Mermaid one was built a long time ago along with the lobby because this was supposed to be a part of Pop Century. Like this was supposed to be like another generation of Pop Century and they turned it into the art of animation. I kind of like that. You can see as you're leaving like Ornament Valley, you got Dock over there, and you can see the blue buildings. It starts to change into Finding Nemo, and then on that side, it's Lion King and then the Little Mermaid. I love it here. I Honestly, I think that the Cars Land is like, I think the best themed. As you look back, look at that. It looks like we're literally in like another place. They do such great theming, even with the plants. Here is a map of the whole resort and I figured I'd show you guys just so you can get kind of perspective. We're staying over here. Actually, our room is right there. Here is the cars area, 
the Finding Nemo, the Lion King, and then the Little Mermaid. The main lobby and like the food is all here in the buses. And then you can walk straight down and you get to the Skyliner. And this side is Pop Century. And uh, like I told you before, this was uh, initially supposed to be just another part of Pop Century. And this building was built years and sat here like just abandoned. The same thing with the uh, main lobby. And uh, then, like I said, they turned it into the Arnold Mansion. But I think it would have been like another generation to Pop Century if you guys have ever stayed there. I love taking Gracie to the different Disney resorts. I still want to stay at Yacht Club and I want to do, uh, that's it. I think I have, uh, Gracie stayed, she stayed at the cabins at Fort Wilderness and we've done Port Orleans and now Art of Animation. So the only one that's still pet friendly is uh, Yacht Club. So that'll be next. We're gonna do a little staycation. I love these. We made it to the center of the resort. Right in front of me is the big blue pool and the Finding Nemo buildings. Then they have the drop-off bar there. And then you can make your way into Animation Hall. This is where the food is. And the lobby here is one of my favorite lobbies. It's so colorful. And I'll show you. It probably will come out really good on this camera. Here is the lobby. And look at this. This is the check-in area with this beautiful backdrop. The colors change as you go down. And it's just so beautiful in here. And I love the different versions of characters uh, from the Disney movies. These are like the rough drafts. Like, can you imagine? I don't know if that's supposed to be Timon there. The hyenas look pretty accurate. Dory doesn't look the same. Dory looks completely different. Like, these are like rough drafts. Oh, there is a good one over here I want to show you. Oh, look at that one of Ursula up there. Yo, why does she look so terrifying? She's got like sharp teeth and kind of looks like a witch well she is a sea witch oh wow they be doing ursula dirty here what is that is that her too i mean it kind of looks like her but a little bit different a little uh, aged a little bit and then look at look at timon i'm glad they stuck with the the, the timon that we have now this one looks like sid <laughs> from ice age look at the difference in that and uh oh this is the ink and pink shop this is like where the food uh food court is and the uh, gift shop. Oh, the food court's called the Landscape of Flavors. And I love these little uh, cartoon, like, animation slides, too, right here. Honestly, this whole resort is just so vibrant and bright. When you're walking around, you just really kind of take it all in. We'll probably come back here later to get something to eat. Maybe a little snack, because they do have some good bakery items. But I want to keep walking around to get over to the Lion King area and uh, Little Mermaid. The Landscape of Flavors is a pretty good food court. They've got some nice specialty desserts. Everything like your typical, you know, uh, all-stars or like, you know, Disney like food area, quick service locations like. They got the chicken parmesan. They got the burger. <laughs> I always like the chicken parm. My favorite thing is coming to get breakfast, though. And the best thing about uh, staying here at the Art of Animation is you can always just go to Pop Century. So you get like two resort like quick services at the same resort. All of the themed areas have pools except for the Lion King. But I think the Lion King is the coolest themed. I think it's the smallest area, but it really kind of takes you to Pride Rock and you get to see all your favorite characters, even Scar. And if you get lost, Rafiki can always show you the way. They're even playing Phil Collins here, but I think they're playing a different Phil Collins. Oh, look at this is what I was talking about. Look at how the buildings have like uh, elephants and giraffes on them. And then as soon as you make like the first like turn into the Lion King area, you're greeted with Simba and Pride Rock. Look at that. Oh, they even have a nice little chair section to sit down underneath Pride Rock and hang out. That's kind of cool. And I'm sure, oh, this is fire pits. So you do fire, they do fire pits underneath Pride Rock. I think that's really nifty. The music is good though. I really love this. Oh, and look at Pumbaa and Timon. Hakuna Matata. This is one of my favorite scenes. This is so cool. They really put a lot of like theming into the areas here. I love it. And this is like one of the entrances to the buildings. And we can keep on going because I think they have like the uh, elephant graveyard. Uh, elephant graveyard? Look at that. Isn't that so cool? This is right outside your window. Look, people actually have like window views of the elephant graveyard or the elephant boneyard. I'm not too sure how they say it. And then you got the hyenas up there. And uh, right on over here to the left, 
You can see Scar just sitting on the top there. Like I said, the theming is great through here. Oh, you can see hyenas on the buildings. And the music's really pumping. You also got a little statue of Zazu right there. And I'm starting to realize that this resort is definitely one that people like just go around and explore and look at the different areas. You think of other resorts, you kind of just stay in the same area, but this gives you a lot to look at. Like the same thing as the All-Stars and the Pop Century going for the different decades. So it adds like a little like adventure to it. And we finally made it to the Little Mermaid area. You can see a big statue of King Tryon over there. Ursula has a big statue. I love these big statues at the entryways. I think it's so cool and it adds a lot of like, character to the motels and hotels. Look at that, Ursula. That's the one. Oh, you can even see the eels in the background there. I don't know why those eels always creep me out, but they are. They do a good job. Wow. I like that. You guys got to let me know like what is your favorite area to the art of animation you know what i mean would you rather stay in little mermaid lion king i know i didn't show you much of finding nemo because it's not like a big pool area uh or the cars area here's the pool that i was talking about for uh the little mermaid area and like i said i don't want to film too much because there's people in there swimming in their bathing suits so i just like to show you on the outside I think I'm going to head back to the room. I want to hang out with Gracie a little bit more. She's been too hot out, and I don't want her walking around on the pavement. I want to keep her in the grass and the shade and let the sun go down a little bit. July's in Florida aren't no joke. It gets super hot. Like I mentioned before, the art of animation is on uh, the Skyliner route, and this is Hourglass Lake here. On the other side is Pop Century, and Pop Century and Art of Animation both share the Skyliner. And it's cool that you can just run around here. Plenty of spots to walk Gracie. I'm going to go get her right now and let her uh, hang out a little bit as, since the sun's going down. And they have cool little trivia and animation facts. I decided I'm wearing my Roosevelt's car shirt because, you know, I'm staying at the Cozy Cone Motel and it was kind of fitting. And this is one of my favorite shirts from that line. I like the Luigi's one, too. I think I wore that in DCA the last time I was here, but it just fits in. Like, look at that. Ornament Valley ahead of us. That's such a beautiful view. Radiator Springs. Radiator Springs, a happy place. I always say uh, radiator different. Uh, because uh, my mom says it that way and I kind of always used to hear her. I used to be like, do you need water in your radiator? What you been doing since I've been gone, huh? You want to go for a walk? You want to go see the art of animation, huh? Yeah, come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Gracie, did you meet Tomater yet? Look at Tomater. Come on, you want to get a photo? Gracie's usually pretty good with photos. Come on, go right here. Look at him. Yeah! Say cheese, Gracie! Tomater! <laughs> I love just seeing Gracie out and about. She's so observant of her surroundings. We're just sitting here taking photos because I can't resist. Look at this, we're at Luigi's. And she's just hanging out, looking at everyone walking by. People watching at the Cozy Cone Motel. Where are you going? Gracie is definitely one of those dogs when she just wants to stop. She just sits and she just sits. She doesn't get up until she's ready to get up. And now I think she's just hanging out, just chilling in the grass. What? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, what? Give us a spin. What was that? Gracie found a nice little spot to lay down on the grass. You want belly rubs? Huh? Yeah. Look at you. I love it. And we're just hanging out here on Hourglass Lake next to Pop Century. Chilling, relaxing. Who's a pretty princess? <laughs> I love her. Isn't she the best? What do you rank art of animation, Gracie? On a scale of one to five pup cups. <laughs> what do you think? Would you want to come here or go back to Fort Worth? What are you doing? You ready to run? She's like, yes! Good job! 
I think Gracie's had enough of the weather today. She's just wanting to sit and not get up. So we're going to go back to the room, relax a little bit, and then probably head out and go explore the Skyliner, maybe go to Hollywood, get something to eat at the Landscape of Flavors, and uh, keep on enjoying the resort. Gracie, you want a treat? <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Did it go behind the thing? You can't get it. Hold on. Oh, here we go. You ready? You want this? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a little bit rainy out. So uh, it looks like the pool is all closed. And I don't know if the Skyliner is going to be running. So maybe we'll just go get something to eat real quick at the uh, Landscape of Flavors. Fancy. But that means the pool's closed so I can show you what it looks like a little bit. These are the cones I was talking about, our little cabanas that you can actually hang in and it doesn't cost any money. I love that. They have a lemon meringue croissant here at the uh, Landscape of Flavors. And also, I, I think I need to get like maybe a hamburger. I don't know, is it a chicken parm kind of day or a hamburger kind of day? Here's a quick look at some of the offerings. They've got, it's a grub and time sundae, tandoori chicken, sesame chicken, Mongolian beef, citrus basil salmon. They got a lot of different stuff. Landon Sea Burger, honey barbecue pork sandwich, cheese pizza, chicken parm, meatball sub, pepperoni, chicken strips. As long as they got chicken strips and pizza, I think we're good. I ended up getting the Mongolian beef and when I was up there I asked which one was better the beef or the sesame chicken and uh, the guy who was taking care of me said why not both and he ended up putting some chicken in there for me to try and then I also got a uh, the lemon meringue croissant look at that there's like lemon filling in there I'm excited to have this but I'm also excited to try both of these this is actually a really good deal you get a lot of food in here. Look, it's actually a big, a hard bowl too. And you get a little bit of both, broccoli and uh, beef here. I am serious, this is a pretty deep bowl and a lot of food there. The beef, it's pretty good, but now I wanna try the chicken. Now we get to try the sesame chicken, look at that. If I had to choose, I probably would get the chicken again. I like the sauce the most. I mean, it's just like your basic chicken. A frozen, you know what I mean, like chicken nugget tossed in some sauce. But I like it a lot. And I can't wait to try that. Can't wait to try you. Here is the uh, lemon meringue croissant. And I'm excited. This looks so good. I got to make it a point to go around and try all these different croissants. Because I love this. I had another croissant the other day. I think it was a cookie one. And that was fantastic. But... A whole bunch of new ones all around the parks. Now I need to investigate. Look at that lemon filling. And the croissant is very flaky. I like the meringue on top. This is solid. This is really good. I guess I can say I like the food at the landscape of flavors. And now that we waited 30 minutes, I think we're going to go hang out in the pool. Really can't go anywhere when the uh, uh, rain and the uh, thunderstorms in the area. But at least they open back up the pools. And I like that they turn on the lights for the cars. Look at that. The headlights are on. Maybe we can get ourselves a cozy cone. A cozy cone. Look at how cool these are. Got some nice music. And you can just hang out in here. And the best thing you know, it's covered. So you don't have to worry about getting wet. Oh, never mind. There's a hole at the top of that funnel. <laughs> I guess we'll just hang out here. I'm going to go swim in a little bit. Enjoy the water. Just look at how cozy the Cozy Cone Motel pool is. I think that's enough of the pool. My fingers are all wrinkly. <laughs> We're gonna head back, get all comfy, lay down in bed. Probably pick this up tomorrow morning for breakfast and then I wanna show you guys the Skyliner. Oh man, that AC, it's cold. <sighs> Look at precious little Gracie. What? What are you doing? You sleeping on your Serta mattress there? I think I'm gonna do the same. We're going to pick this up tomorrow morning, go explore at the park, taking the Skyliner maybe, and getting ourselves some breakfast. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night! And good morning from the Cozy Cone Motel. Gracie, how was your stay last night, huh? 
How was your stay? Oh, look at her. There's nothing like waking up early at a Disney resort, getting your refillable mug, and getting your first coffee of the day. I love it. It's such a great feeling. And even though I, you know, come to resorts and I only stay like very small, like short, like staycations, I don't know why, but I love getting a coffee mug and I love drinking the coffee at Disney resorts. Joffrey's has got me. I love how peaceful Disney resorts are in the morning. Look at the big blue pool. Now I get to show you guys a lot more of this area. And sadly, I found out that they shut the uh, music off. It used to play music underwater, but I don't think it's on anymore. And then they have a nice big splash pad there. But like I said, I think we got to go get ourselves a nice cup of coffee. A Disney resort coffee. Every time I drink Disney like resort coffee, I, it just reminds me of when I used to come and vacation here. I used to live in Pennsylvania and I used to come down like once a year for one week and I would stay at the All Stars or Pop Century and I tried to save up as money as, as much money as possible and uh, like I would just be so happy sitting like out on Hourglass Lake and I would be looking out at the lake drinking my morning coffee and I'd be like it was all worth it. I worked this whole year for this and I would be sipping it just smiling watching the sun uh, sunrise it's good feelings <laughs> now that we have our coffee I think we should start the day and like I said I wanted to show you the Skyliner and I figured the best way of doing that is making a trip over to Hollywood Studios to get some breakfast the walk to the Skyliner from the Cars uh, building is probably about like three minutes and it's a nice peaceful walk on a pathway along Hourglass Lake. And we're gonna go get breakfast at Hollywood and Vine. Uh, I've never even, I've never uh, had breakfast there. It's the first time I've always been there for dinner and uh, minis uh, like seasonal dime, but this is the Disney Junior. So it's gonna be different characters and different food and I'm kind of excited. And we have made it to the Skyliner. Man, I love it. This is so nice, especially early in the morning, going across the lake like that. And this is a direct line to Hollywood Studios. And then if you want to go to Epcot, you can transfer at the transfer station and head over to Caribbean Beach, Riviera, and then the boardwalk. Honestly, I love the initial takeoff and when you're coming in uh, to a station. Oh boy, here we go. I feel pretty, oh so Welcome pretty. Disney oh. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on earth. Now we made it to the transfer station. We can go back to the Art of Animation and Pop Century this way, or we can go to Riviera Epcot right on that uh, little turn station, and then this way to Hollywood Studios. If you want to live dangerously, sit with your back towards the descent, so that way you don't see it coming and you just start falling back. <laughs> yeah, I love it though. Look, it's so peaceful up here. And I love seeing the different Skyliner carts driving by. It is 9 a.m. and look, there's lines to actually get into the park. The park has been open for a couple minutes, but uh, it's been a while since I've had a wait in line to get in the park. It's usually later in the day, you can just come up and there'll be nobody here. We're gonna make our way right over to the Hollywood and Vine because I don't want to be late for my reservation. But honestly, I'm loving the start of the day. It's nothing better than heading to a park from staying at a Disney resort. Kind of gives you that full vacation experience. Hollywood and Vine, celebrate breakfast with Disney Junior stars and enjoy lunch and dinner with Minnie and friends at seasonal dining parties. Disney Junior breakfast serves from 8.30 a.m. to 10.30, and it has assorted pastries, omelet station, breakfast meats and potatoes, waffles, French toast, and it's $47 for adults and $30 for children. $47, but at least it's a breakfast buffet. It's a character breakfast buffet. Take a look at the buffet. First, you have assorted breads and cinnamon donut holes. Then they've got bagels, croissants, apple strudel, lemon muffin, cinnamon roll. They've got uh, oatmeal, cheese grits, watermelon, a bunch of fresh fruit, some salmon. And then you have cheesy potatoes right here, sausage, scrambled eggs. They've got bacon, chicken patties. 
They've got some quiche cornbread pudding. That looks interesting. Then they've got uh, banana Foster's French toast, eggs Benedict, spicy chicken donuts, corned beef hash, biscuit and gravy, smoked sausage, peppers and onion. You have the omelet station right here. Some syrup, pancakes. Oh, this is like the kids section, but it's also like my section. Baked oatmeal. Look at that. Baked oatmeal. That actually looks really good. Mickey waffles, everything you need. And then you still have dessert too because they have soft serve ice cream. They got seasonal bread pudding, apple crisp, and uh, even cold cereal too. So it's actually got a lot of food. And I think they have the ice cream machines open. I don't know. Who's eating ice cream this early? Maybe you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi there, Goof. You having a good day? I'm excited to get some breakfast. I know. I'm excited. <laughs> What's your favorite to eat? Omelets, eggs, over easy. I said over easy. The character interactions at Hollywood Vine are like the best. I think I, I the, just the, the way that they dance around and they come up to the tables. I absolutely, Goofy was amazing. Goofy was so cool. And uh, I, I think it's better than Chef Mickey's. Like honestly, I, I hate to say it, but I feel like like when it comes to overall value and everything like that in the park, the best thing that Chef Mickey's has for it is the fact that you don't need a day ticket to go in the park. You can just go to the contemporary. But this is like a really cool character breakfast. Oh boy, it's dance party time. <laughs> they have like a little Disney Junior dance party that happens. <laughs> Yo, this is the breakfast I needed this morning. <laughs> they have something like baked oatmeal. And it looks so good. Look at this. And I think there's coconut on there. Oh boy, this baked oatmeal is amazing. I've never heard of such thing before, but it has like oatmeal raisin in it. And I got some apple, the French toast, the donut holes. This is such a good breakfast buffet. Breakfast was amazing, but now I think we're gonna hop back on the Skyliner, get back home. I wanna hang out with Gracie for a little bit and relax at the resort. That's the life, that's the good stuff when you stay here on like at a Disney resort. You get to just hop back quick. We are back at the Wheel Well Motel. Gracie said there's no privacy at all in this place. And uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna hang out and we'll enjoy the resort for the remainder of our time and just uh, relax a little. And with that, I think we are done here today. I had a lot of fun staying at the uh, car suite. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wanted to put it together like a little resort tour in case you guys plan on staying here. And let me know in the comments, do you think this room is worth $500? I know I got like my, and you can get your annual pass discount right now. Disney's doing 35% off. So that's why it said 457 on the screen. Um, but I mean, I liked it. I liked the location and it's perfect for pet lovers and pet parents because uh, your animals are nice and peaceful here. I kind of like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.